Mm-hmm. Like I was sitting in a group the other day and they're like, we're going to partner. I was like, all right, cool. Who will work the hardest? And all four of them are like, what? I said, which one of you do you believe? Will-? Actually, forget it. I said, each one of you in a piece of paper, mm. don't look at each other, write down the first name of the dude you think worked the hardest and worked, will work the least. And all of them, but the dude that was worked least, they're like, dude, this guy will work. The-. So I was like, dude, they think you'll work the least. Why are you partnering with him? Like, what does he bring to the table? And they're like, well, I'm like, is he your friend? I got it. But dude, they all, it's three against one. The only one that didn't vote for you is you. And you probably wanted to vote for you. What would you do? I'm like, get rid of him, go a third, a third, a third. Like, he's out. Mm. He's like, well, what? I was like, dude, it, it's business. All three of you already believe it. Why would you let him in? And then I said, this is a, te- if you continue to do this in business, where you're looking to be liked or be successful, you're going to fail. You have to make difficult decisions. And when you bring people into the, into the group as an equity partner, that was my deal early on insurance. Once we started doing volume, everybody wanted to partner with me. They want to throw me money. I'm like, dude, what I want you to partner with me for? You're going to slow me down. I don't want to give up any equity because there are companies all the time that will contact me and go, hey, let's look at this, or you can be on our board or whatever it is, and they always want to give up stock. Be really careful if a company wants to give up equity. They don't believe in their value. Hmm. They don't believe in their value at all because who I don't, I've never want to give up equity in companies I've been running that are killing it. Why would I ever want to go, hey, man, we're friends. Here's 10%. That could be 10% of a billion dollars. To scale, like, though. Like, some, to scale, sometimes you have to. No, 100%. Like, you need nope. to, you, if you need to take on capital. Mm-hmm. I totally agree mm-hmm. with that. If you're, if you're in a place where you have to. But when you're negotiating with them, mm-hmm. when they're just willing to give up equity, they don't believe in what they're doing. Does that make sense? Like, make there's, sense. there's equity or cash. Now, if they were to say, hey, Sean, we want to bring you on. We think you can help us. You have some connections. We're going to give you a million dollars a year to do that. If I go, I'd like equity, and they go, dude, we can't give equity, they believe in what they're doing. They're willing to get the cash up because they know how big this thing is going to be. Mm. That's always a testament for me. Like, how much are you going to get? Stock, warrants, whatever, whatever they call it, in mm. equity. Like, there's some companies I'm partnered with. Dude, I had to wrestle equity out of them. Like, I be- they needed the money, and I believe in what we're doing, mm. but I'm like, I- and I liked that. Like, my attorney's like, dude, you need to get more equity. I'm like, dude, these guys are holding on to it. Like, it's their- dude, like I believe in <laughs> I what really they're believe. doing. They believe, yeah. and they and it's proven me right. That's, that's a lesson learned for me. Um, that's impactful just hearing that because I believe in a lot of things, but sometimes I'm thinking about just the cash value of what I could do with cash because I understand 100%. how to manipulate the internet in a certain type of way. And I'm like, somebody bring me some cash. I know what to do with the cash. And I'm cool with getting giving them 10%, 15%, whatever Amen. it may be, because I know what to do with the cash. Correct. But no, just saying that is really like kind of switching my paradigm to think more about mm-hmm. holding on to my equity. And... With Family First Life, are you a hundred percent equity owner with that? Like, what's, so 